Hi, this is Brad with ProLite Gear, and this is going to be part two of our MSR Reactor Jet Boil series of videos. Today, I just put the canisters uh, from the last video in the freezer uh, overnight just to get them down to a very, very cold temperature, and we're going to see how each of these stoves, uh, how fast it boils water, how much fuel is consumed to get a liter of water boiling after the canister has been frozen to somewhat simulate a winter environment. I'm going to go grab the canisters out of the freezer and we'll start. Alright, we are just ready to start here. We have a water temperature of 68 degrees even, exactly 2 liters in the pot. The stove is sitting here. I'm going to run downstairs to the freezer and grab the canister out and we'll start the test. All right, canister directly out of the freezer. Uh, it is super cold. It's kind of funny, you actually start hearing the isopropane, or isobutane in there actually kind of start boiling a little bit. We'll see how well this lights. We'll get the stopwatch ready. There we go. And we're off. I'll have the stopwatch here and we'll check in at regular intervals to see how well uh, this is boiling. All right, we just approached uh, one minute, roughly 40 seconds just now. The canister still has frost on the outside of it. You can still scrape your finger across it and get. Uh, and get frost. It's still incredibly cold, but uh, the water's starting to make bigger bubbles. Uh, we're on track for a pretty fast boil, even with a frozen canister. All right, we are at two minutes forty-five seconds. A little closer to see it, so two minutes fifty seconds just now. The canister, if you touch it. It's still icy cold. You can still scrape frost off the bottom part of the canister. Uh, the top part of the canister closest to the cookhead is still incredibly cold to the touch. It feels like it's still like in the freezer. Uh, we're actually getting some large bubbles. I'll try and scoot this up. Sorry if I jerk the camera a little bit. So you can kind of see what it looks like in there. We're getting some bigger bubbles coming to the surface. But I can't believe the canister is still uh, still ice cold and it's it's working this well. I'm gonna leave the camera on for this next portion. I know it's kind of like watching or waiting for paint to dry, but I think if I turn the camera on and off one more time, we might miss the boil time. So right now we just hit three minutes, 34 seconds with an unfrozen canister. This was the boil time for us with a brand new canister, just with 68 degree water uh, canister at room temperature. So we just passed that. The frozen canister definitely has made a big difference. but we are almost boiling here. I'm gonna lean this forward, we'll look inside the pot. That's a boil. So we're gonna turn the stove off immediately, with like I just did, and now we're gonna go down and weigh the canister to see how much fuel was used to uh, get this liter of water to that rolling boil you see there. And it only took a grand total of four minutes, four seconds. So. Pretty incredible, only 30 seconds difference in boil time. We'll see how much uh, fuel efficiency was compromised. <clears throat> All right, in the end, the MSR reactor stove took four minutes, four seconds to boil one liter of water. The canister started out at 201 grams frozen in the freezer overnight. It only used 10 grams of fuel, the same as when the canister was room temperature. So the canister weighs 191 grams, started out as 201, only 10 grams per boil. Pretty, pretty impressive going from a room temperature canister of about 70 degrees to sitting in our deep freeze overnight and then coming up and just instantly lighting. I'm very impressed with the stove. If you have any other questions about how this test was done or anything about the MSR reactor, uh, please give us a call at 
or email us at service at prolightgear.com. Thanks and have a great day.